You don't have to make the clothing, but when you put embroidery on clothing with your embroidery machine, you make the clothing special and you make the clothing an expression of how you want to look. You won't see yourself coming and going down the street because you can make it exactly what you want it to be. Let's talk about some basic embroidery going on garments today. I'm Kathy and this is Sewing Tech Talk. Today we have a very special giveaway with our video. This is the Anita Good Design Mermaids Collection. It's a full collection of 39 different designs and it could be yours. It's our giveaway. So if you like, comment, or share every time you do, you're entered for a chance to win this fun collection. Uh, I think it looks beautiful on uh, denim. Uh, as you see when it's stitched out today, it's a really neat collection. So good luck. That's the giveaway for today's video. Now the handout for today's video is nothing, I usually write the handout, but I have something that I think is a, even better than anything I could have written. It's the Floriani Stabilizer Workbook. And it's multiple, multiple pages that talks about what all of their stabilizers do. And it gives you a ton of information, not just about their products, but um, if you're using a cutaway stabilizer, the reference in here, even if it's not a Floriani, is a super valuable resource. I use this a ton. I print it out, put it in page protectors, and it's a well-used resource in my sewing room. So I think you'd enjoy the handout. Go to the uh, description. It's usually in blue. Go to the landing page and you will find the link for this handout and my other handouts as well. So print this out. I think you'll use it a lot. Now let's talk about putting embroidery on garments. Today I want to do uh, something that's a pretty standard and I want to do an embroidery on kind of a special area. So we'll be doing two different areas of embroidery. Three actually. I want to do something on a stretch denim as well. So when we talk about putting embroidery on a garment, there's a couple things we need to take into consideration. One is, the first and foremost, is the fabric. This uh, shirt is a fun shirt to wear. It's a very lightweight fabric. It kind of looks like a denim, but it's more like a chambray. And it has some flow to it. It's a lightweight denim-like material. It needs a little extra something something to hold the embroidery, especially if I'm doing a dense design like this uh, a mermaid is on the back. It's a large dense design. So when you think about doing embroidery on a garment, first of all, look at the fabric. I'm going to talk about woven fabrics today. We'll talk about knits in, an, in another video, but I want to stabilize the fabric, but I also want to give that fabric a little bit of extra body if it's a lightweight. I want something to stay with the garment for the life of the garment. If you're a garment sewer, you know all about interfacing. Interfacing is that material, woven or non-woven, that you put in collars, in plackets, in cuffs, to give the fabric extra body to, um, to enhance its wearability for the life of the garment. Now for embroidery, we're doing a lot of stuff to that fabric. The machine's going back and forth, it's loading that fabric up with stitches. And so that fabric needs something to help it uh, during that process. Process. We're going to stabilize it, but first we may need to interface it. Now I have a whole bunch of interfacings that I've collected over the many years that I've been sewing. On this project I used a Floriani product called Dream Weave Fusible. And this product, it comes in black and white. I use black on my denim. It is a lightweight interfacing and it is fusible. It does have some stretch to it. So that means that on a knit, it's going to let that knit still stretch. But on a woven like this one, it's going to keep its um, drapeability on the fabric. This I cut out a piece that's the size of my embroidery. I fused it to the back of my fabric and it gave this lightweight fabric some body. I still need to stabilize it, but you may need to give your fabric a little something something to, uh, to keep it um, enable it to stand up to that embroidery. So this is it Floriani Dream Infusible black or white, you get a ton of it and you will use it on a lot more than you think you will. Now, let's talk about um, stabilizer. In stabilizer, you can categorize, if we could talk about stabilizer every day 
for a year. And uh, there's so much to talk about because the stabilizer can do so much for you. And there's a lot of different choices out there. So you can think about stabilizer in a couple of ways. You can think about stabilizer, how it goes on and how it removes. So first and foremost, how it goes on, you can have it so that it's fusible. I use fusible on the back of this. You can have it so that it's aqua set, meaning you can get it wet um, and then it sticks to it. You can get sticky. You can get plain stabilizer that none of that happens to and you just hoop that with the item. I like to use a fusible on garments whenever I can because what happens is that fusible will keep that entire garment stable. I may have some strange areas that I'm embroidering around. Like when I put this embroidery on my shoulder, I had to deal with the sleeve. It was already sewn together. I didn't have the luxury of embroidering it before I sewed it together. So I like to use a fusible. Now, if you're using a fusible, uh, then you think about how am I going to remove it? So there are stabilizers that you tear away, meaning that after you finish embroidering the item, just like this tear away, it's, even though it's fusible, it's gonna tear away when I'm finished. After it tears away, all that's left with the, uh, with the embroidery is the stabilizer that's caught under those little threads, and I already have the interfacing there to, to, to support that fabric for the life of it. Now, some items I may want to use a cutaway. Now, a cutaway is an item, a stabilizer that you can't pull away after you finish it. It's going to stay with the state, with the garment, the, the life of the embroidery, just like that interfacing is if you needed to use it. I use that for super heavy, dense designs. When, when you probably have something in your wardrobe that you can see what a cutaway looks like. If you have one of those knit shirts and you look at the back of the embroidery and you see that white stabilizer around the back, that's a cutaway. I like to use cutaways with a knit fabric because that knit fabric really needs to be stabilized and that stabilizer needs to stay with that fabric for the life of the garment just like the interfacing does. So cut away, tear away. You also have other options. We're going to cover those in another video. So let's talk about doing the collar on this little shirt. I am going to use an aqua set tear away. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to bring in my little hoop. Here's my little hoop because I'm going to do a little design that's in the corner of this um, collar. Now I want to use a hoop that's not much bigger than the size of my design because for a couple reasons. It's easier to control that when it's on there. Sometimes it's hard to get into the area. So you can imagine putting this shirt into that big hoop. How do you do it? It's a little bit more challenging and it saves product. So I have this stabilizer in here. I didn't have to have a big sheet of it. I can only use what I need. Now I'm going to get the collar onto this aqua set and I am going to Take my collar, make sure I'm on the right side of the collar, and I'm going to get it into this hoop, but the collar is not going to be hooped with a stabilizer because I basically can't. I can't get it in there because I have so much white area around it and I need to support this entire part of the garment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically wet the aqua set. I have a little sponge. You don't need very much at all. You put it on there. You wait a couple seconds and then this aqua set is activated by the water. It comes tacky almost immediately. Now this one has a grid on it which helps me put my item in there. So what I'm going to do is decide where I'm going to put my uh, item in. Remember, when you have a hoop, you cannot go to the very edge of that hoop to do your embroidery. There has to be room for the foot right around the edge. So you have to remember that you have to come in just a little bit around your hoop. Now I'm going to put it in so I have the full access to that collar. 
stick it on in there and I'm going to let that Aquaset dry a little bit and this collar should be nice and well attached in there. When I get to the machine I'm going to do some basting around there as well and I'm going to hold it in really really well because I don't want this collar to come off. But it's sticking pretty good right now. Remember I could also have used a sticky stabilizer to stick it on there. I like the Aquaset because it um, it's pretty fast and easy and it releases. All I have to do when I want it to uh, when I want to pull the embroidery away is I get it wet again and it comes off right away. So I got it on there. We need to go to the machine. We need to select a design. We need to put a basting around it and we need to embroider on our little collar. So let's go. So here I am at the sh machine. We're going to stitch on the beautiful baby lock Altair today. Here's my little collar and it's stuck in there really, really good. I need to choose my design and then I need to place my design on my collar. I'm going to do a basting stitch around it as well. So I'm going to be using a uh, design from the Anita Good Design Mermaid collection and I've chosen this little uh, Barracuda right here. I think that'll be fun. I can tell this is a PDF that you can print out. Some design packs come with a uh, a file where you can print out all the designs that are in there. And I kind of like that because I can choose what I want. It tells me the size of the design. It gives me a picture of it. So that works really, really good for me. So I've chosen this. I know it's a little bit big for my uh, collar, but that's not a problem because I can modify the I can modify the design in the machine. I can make it fit this collar because I can reduce the size and all that kind of fun stuff. Now what I want to do is I want to be able to position my little Barracuda exactly on my collar. The Altair has a function called um, IQ positioning and with that you use either a tablet or your smartphone and there's an app that comes on that you can put on that device and what you're going to do is you're going to use that to take a picture of the item in the hoop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this hoop on a flat surface so I can see it with my device, my iPad, and then I'm going to take a picture of it and it's going to send the picture of the item in the hoop to the machine so I can place it perfectly. So let me put it on a flat surface and let's take a picture and send that to the machine. So what I'm doing is I'm holding the uh, app, the, uh, the smart device with the app over the top and I'm taking a picture of it. Boom! And it's got the picture and now it's sending it off to the uh, machine. So I can place this design perfectly on my little collar. So it sent it off to the machine. Let's choose our little design. Now I took my design, uh, it's Mermaid 28, and I took it and I put it on a USB stick and I'm going to put, I put that USB stick in the machine. I'm going to touch embroidery and I'm going to go down to the symbol here for USB. On this machine there's two different USB ports. I put it in the top one and it's going to pull up all those designs. And like I said, there's 39 of them. And I'm going to go to the one with my little Barracuda. There it is. Mermaid 28 is my little Barracuda. So I'm going to touch that to select it. And it's going to show me that design. And I can see a couple things right away. I can see the size of it. I can see the number of stitches. Um, and I know I'm going to want to make that smaller. So I'm going to hit set, which tells the machine I want to play with my design. So now I know it's big. I have put in, in the settings of the machine, you can choose a representation of the size of the hoop that you're going to use. It really helps you um, get a visual about how you want to do that. When I go to the settings of the machine, I can rotate through all the different frames that come with the machine and all the frames that are available for the machine. And I can choose the, the outline of the frame size that I'm going to use. Four by four, that's what I'm using today. So okay, that's that little outline right there. Now I know I want my Barracuda to be small. So I'm going to come up to edit. I'm going to choose size and I can just play with it. I can go down 20, uh, go up 20%, down uh, 10%, but this machine will recalculate stitches, which is amazing. So I'm going to touch this and it's going to say, I'm going to take everything original. Okay. And now when I pick this, uh, icon with the little arrows coming in. I want to squish the whole Barracuda small and I touch that. 
hold it down, and I made my Barracuda now one inch by three inches, which is going to work on my collar. Before it was two inches by five inches. So you can see you can really drastically uh, change the, uh, the size of a design, and it recalculates the stitches, which is awesome. Okay, now I want to bring in my picture that I took of my collar, and the image was sent from the mobile app. Do I want to update it? Well, of course and I say okay. Now it's going to want to see the frame that I took the picture of. So what I do is I'm going to take the the 4x4 frame with my little collar in it and I'm going to put it in the machine. Oh but first I'm going to put my embroidery bobbin thread in the bobbin of my machine. Now this has a quick set bobbin which means I can cut that thread off and I don't have to pull it up but I know I'm going to use a basting stitch on this and I like to pull the bobbin thread up when I do a basting stitch so I'm just going to let it hang out there and I'm not going to cut it off. You'll see why in a little bit. So I'm going to put my shirt on. Now with the shirt, with the, any kind of thing that you're going to embroider, it's bulk control. <laughs> I have this big old shirt. I've hooped it so that most of the shirt comes over on the side where the embroidery arm is. So I'm going to look underneath there. I'm going to find where to attach it. I'm still being a little careful even though that collar has been well attached with that aqua set. I'm going to put it on, click it on down. Now the machine's going to be super happy because I put my frame on, I say OK. It's going to find its happy place and it's going to show me my little collar. Now I can take my design now and I can place it where I need to on my collar. So I'm going to say OK because I don't need to change the size of it. I'm going to take it and I'm going to rotate my Barracuda so it 90 degrees should work. I can come down a little bit if I want a fancy Barracuda and I can know I can move up just a little bit. Oh, I went a little bit too far so I'm going to move it down just a little bit. The machine knows where I can sew and I'm going to say OK. Now I'm pretty sure that Barracuda, oh no I'm going to move it down just a little bit. The beautiful thing about this is you can tell exactly where it is in relationship to the thing that you're going to embroider on. And that's key on something like this. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. If I wasn't, I could rehoop it. It's pretty easy to rehoop it with that aqua set. I simply get the aqua set moist. The item comes off, get it moist again, and it's going to stick back on, which is great. So if I put it in incorrectly, I could switch it a little bit, take a new picture, and I'm off to the races again. So I'm happy with that. But this collar, I want to make sure that it stays on there well. And I have two pieces on this collar. The top's a little bit, it's not attached. So I'm going to put a basting stitch around it. On this machine, that's really simple. I choose to go to embroidery now because I'm happy with where I placed it. And under layout, I have a little flower with a little, uh, with a little like um, stitching around it. What that does is that automatically adds a basting stitch around my design. Now it's going to be pretty close around my design. If I want it to be wider out or, or closer in, I can adjust how big that basting box is. So there I go. I'm good with that. I touch layout. And you can see it's put a little box as the very first stitch when I'm going to stitch this design. It always brings it in in a dark color, but I'm going to stitch it in the first color of my design because I'm going to take it out anyway. Now there's another option if you have a lot of basting that's going in. You can choose a, a wash away thread and you can base this down using a wash away thread and then when you get it wet, because you're going to get it wet to take it off the aqua set anyway, the basting thread just goes away. I'm just going to use my first color because I don't have that lot of basting to come out. My first color is this pretty seafoam green. Whoa! The machines, the thread's flying off the shelf. So here's my pretty seafoam green. I'm going to thread up my machine. It threads really simple. I go up here. Now I can't thread with the, with the presser foot down and the baby lock knows that so they put a blocker up here. So I'm going to raise my presser foot, thread my machine. One, two, three, four, four. There we go. You got to catch the little guy. Here it is. Six, lay it in the slot, 
cut the thread and all I have to do is press that button and magic. Now, I know my little Barracuda is going to be perfectly placed in there, but one thing about this baby lock machine is if I want to double check it, I can certainly double check it. So I have this icon down here that shows me a little needle with a thread in the, in the that's the icon. I'm going to say, okay, it looks just like that. And I can touch that and I can go to the bottom of my design and it takes me to the very bottom of that design. You can see on the screen that that little green X is where the needle position is. I can go to the top and it'll show me that as well. I can go to all the sides. Now something that's also really cool on this baby lock is I can touch this W plus icon and what that does is that she projects a little red light down onto the fabric so that I can see exactly where that part's going to be. And if I like that, great. If I don't, I can see, I think I want my Barracuda down a little bit. No problem. I'm going to touch layout, move, and I can move it over just a little bit. The basting box moves with it. And I can look at my little red light and I can tell that is absolutely perfect. So on this machine, if you don't get it perfectly placed, it's not the machine's fault. So I have everything in there. I'm going to stitch that first color, which is my basting. Now, a basting box is big old stitches. And what happens sometimes is when a machine makes big stitches at the start, it's difficult for it to hold that bobbin thread in. So when I do a basting box, what I usually do is pull my thread up when I start my embroidery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell them, I'm going to lower my foot. I'm going to tell the machine that I want to go needle down needle back up again and what it's going to do is it's going to take a whole stitch and I'm going to pull that basting thread up. Lift up my presser foot, grab that. Sometimes you might have to do it a couple times. And it popped up that basting thread. Now what I'm going to do, I pulled up about five or six inches of it. I'm just going to hold it on the side. That means when I take my basting box around there, it's going to hold that thread because sometimes it's challenging for a machine to take a big stitch and hold that little cut thread at the same time. That's why I didn't cut it with my quick set bobbin. There's a trick. So here I go. Now the other trick is when you start to sew, when I press that green button, the machine's going to start to sew. Well, I kind of want it to sew slow because I have this collar. I want to make sure everything stays right where I want it to stay. If I hold down that start stop button, when I start to stitch, it's going to stay stitching really slow. So I can check everything out before I release it and I release the hounds to go quite quickly. So I'm going to hold down my button. It's going to stitch. Perfect. Now those stitches are about a half an inch long. Release my button and you can see how fast the machine goes. So there's my basting box. It's going to hold my collar perfectly on there. I think I'm going to get a perfect Barracuda. I'm going to go ahead and stitch the, it's only three colors. I'm going to stitch it in about five minutes. I should be done. We'll come back and we'll see what my Barracuda looks like. So I finished my little collar. I like my Barracuda. Now to remove it from this uh, wet and stick, the Floriani wet and stu stick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it a little bit wet and it's going to release, it's going to juice up that uh, adhesive again. It's going to tear away really, really easy. On the back, what I showed you at the very beginning is I did this large mermaid. Now, this large mermaid was over 40,000 stitches. So I used two layers of stabilizer plus the interfacing. This is a fusible medium tearaway and I used two layers of it. I just tear it away when I'm done. Quite honestly, what I do with a tearaway is sometimes I'll hit it with a warm iron and it'll seem to tear away a little bit easier. And I do tear off one layer at a time if I'm doing uh, two layers. So my shirt is pretty much done, but I need a matching skirt to go with my little top. So I wanted to show you really quickly 
I'm not going to stitch it, but I wanted to talk you through. This is a denim skirt, and it's that denim that's really nice and stretchy. Super comfortable to wear, but it has a lot of stretch, especially side to side. So what I did is I'm going to put my design down here in the lower right hand corner of the skirt. It would be the same process if I was going on the side of a pair of jeans. But I need to kind of interface this stretchy, stretchy denim to make sure that it's not quite so stretchy. So on the back, what I've done is where I'm going to have my design, I use some of the Floriani Dreamweave Fusible. It also has a little bit of stretch, but I found the part of the fusible that was less stretchy, and I put that on the stretchiest uh, degree of, of stretch on my garment. So it still has a little bit of stretch, but it's going to stay nice and stable. Now I'm going to use this the same way I did the collar. Yeah, I have a lot of territory that I could hoop, but I also have this big seam on the side and this hem down here. So I know that's going to be a little bit more challenging to hoop. So I'm going to use that wet and stick, uh, the Aquaset tear away stabilizer, and that's going to work just the way I put my collar on. So I'm going to have my great garment. If you're starting out your embroidery adventure, I know you're going to want to stitch on some garments because it's a fun way to personalize it and it's not so bad. Think about the fabric. Think if you need to interface it. Think about how you're going to hoop it and you should be golden. And if you have it on your embroidery machine, you're going to be having so much fun just looking through your wardrobe to see what you're going to stitch on. And if you don't have your embroidery machine yet, I think you might need to start your adventure with one. So George, can you give someone a deal on an embroidery machine, especially this Altair? Thanks, Kathy. That was an incredible presentation. Don't forget, you can click on a, the link and download Kathy's lesson guide on today's presentation. But I want to take a couple moments to share with you my favorite features on the Baby Lock Altair. I believe the Altair is dollar for dollar the most advanced machine on the market. There are machines that sell for thousands of dollars more that do not offer the same features. You know, the embroidery features are incredible. The nine and a half inch by 14 inch embroidery area, you can really uh, expand your horizon with embroidery and there's 494 built-in designs. You also have that 10.1 inch color screen that gives you all kinds of editing capability from color to sizing to also you can actually take designs and do automatic stippling around it. It has 30 built-in fonts and five jumbo monograms. Now with the fonts, you have all kinds of editing capability. You can even take and put in a, a name or a saying and then do an applique border and turn it into applique automatically. It also has the IQ Designer. Now, this is an app that you use your smart device like a phone uh, or an iPad and you can send an image, a graphic image to the machine and it will turn it into embroidery instantly. The embroidery is amazing, but what about the sewing and quilting? This machine has 11.25 inches of space and five inches of height, so you can fit even the largest quilts into this machine. It also has automatic fabric sensors that will sense the thickness of the fabric so it will set the right pressure and with the automatic tension it gives you perfect fabric control from heavy denim to very sheer fabric to working with elastic or even a t-shirt collar. This machine truly controls the fabric with perfection but also it has the digital dual feed and that what that does is that is a belt driven uh, uh, walking foot system that's controlled by the motor of the machine and you can control even like here with this minky perfectly so you have so many amazing features with this machine but what about an amazing deal the MSRP, the manufacturer's suggested list price of this machine is $10,999. And it's worth that for all the amazing things that it does. We right now have it on sale for $79.99. And we're offering free shipping 
across the United States. Plus, we have interest-free payments of $167 per month. That is, makes this machine very affordable. But wait, that's not all. For a limited time, and while we have it in stock, we are offering a special bonus with your Altair purchase. So first, we're gonna give this beautiful set of 63 spools of polyester embroidery thread. This, the beautiful shine and quality of this thread is quite amazing. Also, I'm including uh, the Babylock Ultimate Stabilizer Bundle. This has the, uh, the most popular rolls of stabilizer from wash away to cut away in different colors, and this will enhance your embroidery to give you a better quality. I'm also including the Babylock Altair Inspirational Guide. Now, the instructions on this machine is wonderful, but what's different about the ins Inspirational Guide, it is written by Babylock educators, assuming you know nothing about the machine. So it takes you through every aspect, giving you uh, full color. It's, it's over 300 pages of full color description, step-by-step -step description. And if you complete this uh, Inspirational Guide, you truly know everything on this machine. We're including that. Plus, we're gonna include a online membership to Babylock's Love of Knowledge. This has hundreds of videos that give you step-by-step -step details on how to use the machine and also do techniques. This is invaluable and you get a membership to this as well. You also get our famous rose gold scissors. Um, <laughs> these scissors are wonderful, both the shears and the embroidery shears. But last and not least, we put together a very exclusive design bundle by Anita Good Design. It has 17 different collections and it comes with over uh, 400 design files. And it's truly amazing the variety you get with this. So all this, which equals over a $1,600 value is free with your Altair purchase for a limited time. Now we will run out of these supplies, so this is while supplies last. So click on the link to order, or you can call us at 1-800-865-9664. You can email me at moreso at aol.com. But don't wait, this deal will surely end. But if you have any questions, again, call us at 1-800-865-9664. Bye for now.